Hey gang, welcome back to the Crucible Chronicles. This is the start of chapter 7, and in this chapter we're going to be taking the same deck we played in the last chapter, but unchaining it. So we're setting aside the two card challenge, and going to see, see what kind of games we can get going on the competitive playlist. Uh, before we get started, let's take a look at the deck. Alright, so this is the deck, uh, the Lance Corporal that screams at fraud. As you can tell, it's uh, rated pretty highly. This is my highest rated deck. I think actually my top three or four highest rated decks are all from Worlds Collide. Uh, but this this deck has been uh, good fun. Uh, the the Logos sadly doesn't have any archiving. Actually, there's no archiving in the whole deck. Uh, but uh, there's a good amount of warding with the double hologramophone uh, and the Imperium. And we got a Tricerian Legionary here as well. Um, so it does pretty well at protecting some of its valuable cards, valuable, valuable creatures, uh, I should say. Um, one thing it definitely has quite a bit of is kind of disruption on the board. Uh, so we've got double Positron Bolt and uh, Twin Bolt Emission in Logos. I've got the double Stomp, and sorry about that, uh, in Saurian. Uh, sorry about that is a rarer card. Uh, destroy a creature, its controller gains one. Um, so there's some interesting stuff that can be done with that. Uh, it is handy that there's a re reassembling automaton, so can kind of get a cheeky ember off of sorry about that if there's no other good targets um but yeah this this deck has a good amount of ember pips 15 which is pretty high for any world's collide stuff that i have certainly uh, expected ember is up at 21 we're a little bit low on the uh, ember control that's for sure uh, but we do have an infernus uh, a couple exhumes in here uh, to try and recur the infernus there is a rock gub um, and then of course the uh the feel bad, the feels bad uh, tribute. Um, there's uh, some interesting stuff if you can line it up, uh, being able to tribute onto tricks in this deck. Uh, there's actually not a huge amount of creatures that are like bigger in terms of um, power than than tricks. So it's it's actually pretty possible that that can work. Um, anyways, so let's let's get into today's game and we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Get ourselves a game. Playing against Martino Rossino, who is piloting Everlasting S Octawave. There's a Saurian Logos Disc in this deck. A couple Evil Eyes, a couple Exhumes, a couple Rot Gubs. Giant Spain, interesting. That's not going to do too much here. There is an Entropic Swirl I see down on Logos. That can be, that can be fun. Uh, Alright, looks like we're going second. Hmm, well, that is interesting. Double Exhum, Poltergeist, the Evil Eye. Uh, this Poltergeist will probably be good. I see there's a Golden Spiral over there. Definitely something we want to try and get rid of. Um, I think we mulligan this just because really we want these Exhums later. All right, so we picked up our Tribute. Not incredible. Um, uh, there is no archiving in this deck. I think I mentioned that before. So I think what we do is I'm gonna go with Logos. Top trap. Uh, put down this um, hologramophone. And candle units. I could have got more cards played uh, with the by going Saurian, but all right, we got double brooded on. Uh, double brooded on definitely. Pretty unfortunate. I think we go with Dorian here. Ooh, so we got uh, what was that an Imperium? We also missed, yeah, Imperium. So let's go with Dorian. Uh, we'll put down our own Brutadon Oxillary. Uh, put down a Odoac. Do we really care? Got an Odoak that much? Not all that much. Maybe we'll protect the Senator Shrix. Uh, I don't think it's wise at this point to, to exalt. Um, we'll, I guess, play the Odoak. Maybe sorry about that uh, to pop a ward. And we'll hold on to this tribute for the time being.
All right, so uh, tribute is gonna burn burn a hole in our uh, <laughs> burn a hole in our pocket here. Titan Guardian Desanya. Twin bolts put down some damage. Alright, I think we go back to Storian. Um, probably reap with the Odoak. Reap with the Odoak. Stomp this Desanya so we can get the Ember onto Shrix. We stomp this Brutadon. Uh, I think what we do. Let's see, we'll get three Ember here. Remember if we do the tribute. Interesting. Interesting. Tell you this Brutadon here, uh, they can fight with the Brutadon to kill my Brutadon and then fight into Senator Shrix. Um, so that's unfortunate. So the other thing I can do is this Brutadon has Hazardous 2, right? So I could. If I stop the Brutadon, then I think we'll be good. Is that right? Yeah, let's stop the Brutadon. Uh, we'll reap here. Is that right? I will reap with Shrix. And do that. We'll reap with the Breed of Dawn. I, I also forgot we have the Imperium. So um, let's Imperium, the Breed of Dawn, and Senator Shrix. Um, and do we still hold on to this tribute? I don't know. I um, really want to draw some more cards, so we'll just tribute and not exalt. So they're going with Logos. Um, I'll grab my phone. And if they have Twin Bolt, Twin Bolt and uh, Entropic Swirl, that would do it. That would get get rid of the old Shricks. Oh, that just does it. That does it alone. All right, so we do forge a key, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I think we might want to go dis here. Uh, we can poltergeist the hologramophone, which would be pretty solid. Uh, reward our Brutadon. I won't be in danger of putting them on check if I fair game. Could get two, put them up to five. Uh, let's. Hmm. Or I could go Logos. Reap, play the Reassembling Automaton. Hologramophone, the Brutadon. Uh, let's go this. Let's go this. Uh, we'll play out the Rock Ebb. Make them lose one. We'll Poltergeist the Hologramophone. The Brutal Dawn play a fair game. Oh, they get two and we get nothing. <laughs> oh, savage. It was a, it was a calculated, calculated attempt, but ultimately ineffective. Okay, so they'll exhume quant. Got a second library coming down. That's not not great for us. Um, I do definitely do not like the quant hanging out over there. Can't get on to check this way, 
but I feel like I need to play some Logos cards out, and this is probably as good a time as any to do that. Um, so we'll play out the Daughter. Get the right. Um, we'll hologramophone the Daughter. <coughs> Guess reassembling automaton, group think tank. Then reap with the candle unit. All right, so I was hoping maybe to pick up one of our evil eyes or our one evil eye. All right, so they're going back to logos. We're fighting on to draw two cards. Not, not bad. Uh, one thing we should take a look for. Do they have any... No Hysteria. Right, so we draw a card. They reap with Quants. I didn't actually know what we drew. <laughs> Good of the many. Ouch. Ouch, man. Knowledge is powered archive a card. All right, we're gonna have to do a little bit of, bit of work here, I think. Uh, so I think we go Logos. We'll go Logos. I think we can get on to check. Um, but do we start? Well, let's play the fetch drones out. Play Igor. For the right. Um, interesting. Oh, yeah, that's good. We'll grab the positron bolt. <laughs> We're going to positron bolt all over the place. Um, so we'll probably just reap with daughter. Uh, we'll positron bolt. That way, then we'll positron bolt this way. Um, they don't have like interdimensional graft or anything. No, nope. so we'll just reap there. I can put some damage on in this brooded on. Uh, I don't know if I care that much. You yeah, know, let's do it. Put three damage onto that. And then reap with a group think tank and hologramophone. Oh, I don't know. Daughter. Let's do the candle unit actually. Quite like quite like what the candle unit is doing for me. Alright, that's the concession. Well played to our opponent there. They're about to get get a key. Um, but I think we just had enough going going on the board. Um, and what options would they have had? They have six Semper, I guess Regrettable Meteor. Uh, regrettable Meteor would take out the Brutadon. Um, so not going to be all that effective. But Boy, it sure does feel good to play the old Lance Corporal and actually be able to play more than one card per turn or what more than two cards per turn uh, definitely feels like it opens up your options quite a bit uh, anyways thank thank you so much for checking out this video um i'll be back on friday uh with another episode in this chapter of the crucible chronicles uh we'll be taking this deck out again um and hopefully i'll see you then